Good morning, Stacy Glasgow with your daily devotional. Today's devotional comes from Women of God Wonderfully Made Devotions for Women, and it is titled The Wonder of Recreation. The scripture reading is from 2 Corinthians 5 21. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Every day, Jana's mom packed a healthy lunch for Jana. Turkey sandwiches on homemade whole wheat bread, carrot sticks, fruit, and milk. Every day, Jana exchanged her fruit for Michael's cupcakes. Every day, Jana exchanged her sandwich for George's microwave mac and cheese. Every day, Jana exchanged her milk for Jill's pink lemonade. Jana thought all these exchanges were great exchanges. Jana's mother would not have been so thrilled had she ever learned what Jana was up to. The words of 2 Corinthians 5.21 describe what some have called the great exchange. This passage describes what may be the wonder of all wonders. It can be hard for us to grasp the truth expressed here. The verse reads a lot like a riddle. Some background can help you untangle it. Jesus was no friend of sin. He was not even a distant acquaintance. He knew no sin. He was holy, obedient, and right with God in every way. You and I are on a first name basis with sin. We know all about it. We are all acquainted and disobedient. Our friendship with rebellion goes way back. In mercy, God the Father has subtracted all the sin, every single bit of it from our account. He has replaced it with Jesus' very own righteousness. Our sin did not just evaporate. God added our sin to Jesus' account. Jesus was punished for it on Calvary's cross. With that as a background, reread 2 Corinthians 5.21. It describes the great exchange, the greatest exchange ever. This is the gospel message. This is the good news that sets our hearts ablaze with joy and floods our lives with thanksgiving not for his own benefit, but for ours. In deepest love for us, God made Jesus, the one who never sinned, become sin itself because Jesus fully, totally, completely sinful. So that now in Jesus, we are made fully, holy, righteous, blameless before God. This truth makes our recreation possible. Please pray with me. It's almost too good to be true, Lord. You took my sin and I received your righteousness. How can I thank you for remaking me? Amen. Have a great week.